So here's a quick video on how I fixed my TI-89 titanium here. It was in a box for a while and I'd moved it around and it was getting shuffled and uh, today though I took it out and went to turn it on uh, and it wouldn't turn on. Uh, I even put fresh AAA batteries in there and that didn't work. So I opened it up and uh, wanted to take a look at the fuse which is located right here. And with the continuity tester that checked out just fine. And uh, so I gave it a once over and I actually found the issue, which ended up being these gold contacts. They're now silver because I put solder over top of them. But the gold contact, which looked a lot like this side, had been worn down, I guess, from all the movement over the, over the years uh, by these little prongs that connect to the batteries. And so what I did was to, to verify that was I took my uh, adjustable power supply, set it to six volts. Connected the plus on the uh, positive side on the little contact that's met, labeled with the plus, and then the ground on the uh, the minus side, and it was a little precarious, but I was able to hold those in place and turn the power on, and it came back to life. And if you looked at it closely, I didn't think to take a picture of it before, but there are some uh, you could see the green circuit board beneath it, so it had worn through just from I guess being shuffled around and the vibrations and whatnot, and so this, the fix was just applying some some solder over top of the contacts kind of smoothed it out without trying without uh, overheating the location uh, and then i went ahead and put the batteries back in and turned it back on and it worked so hopefully that might give you uh something to check if not actually solve your problem if you're ti-89 or maybe similar ti's that uh have this sort of battery holder uh, you might find that same problem and and can fix it and bring your calculator back to life.